Hello, welcome back to another video, guys. Today we're going to be taking some, a look at some new Lego sets. Um, so I just have the phone set up here, and I'm just going to be taking a look at some of the sets that we're going to be getting. So the first one is the Pirate Snub Fighter from Mandalorian Season 3. So this one's really cool. Um, it comes with two minifigures. Um, but actually, first, let's get into some of its stats. Um, so it retails for $45. Um, that's Canadian. I'll throw it up on uh, the screen, what it is in the U.S. and stuff. But, uh, yeah, so that's $45 Canadian. Um, you can pre-order this item right now, and it will be shipping on May 1st. Um, so, yeah, it releases May 1st. And this has 285 pieces. So it actually is a fairly high piece count for what you're getting. So yeah, 285 pieces, um, and if you were to buy this, I don't think anyone really cares, but 225 VIP points if you were to buy it. Um, and this item number is 75346. Let's take a look at the actual images now. Okay, so this is the first image that you see when you go on to lego.com. It's sort of just the ship. Um, so it looks like the cockpit does open up and with the hatch um there's too many figures um scroll to the mini figures here so yeah it looks like you have a pirate snub fighter like pilot and don't know who that is i believe it's someone from mandalorian season three i am a little bit out of the loop on mandalorian season three right now i haven't watched any of the episodes yet um, which I probably should before I take a look at these sets, but, I mean, I think they just came out today, so might as well take a look at them. And then it has a little, like, storage compartment that looks like it will lift off, so some good playability. Other than that, I don't see any crazy details. The Oh, uh, never mind. You have uh, stud shooters, the newer type on the bottom of the ship. Um, you have some cool guns on the front. Those are neat. And does, unfortunately, have stickers. Yeah, but, I mean, it's a $45 set. I mean, they're not going to include that many printed pieces, if any, at this point. Um, so, yeah, no printed pieces, I don't think. Not that I can see. Um, looks like mostly stickers, unfortunately. Or the pilot has a pistol and the... Oh, there's like a little storage crate. So yeah, there's a little storage crate and there's a little um, thermal detonator in there. And he also has a sword. Um, I believe that's a Ninjago sword that originally released in Ninjago movie sets. Um, but anyway, continuing on this set, um, let's take a little bit of a deeper look into the minifigures. Minifigures are really good. Um, they have leg printing. The fighter pilot even has some toe printing. Um, waist printing, it all looks pretty good. Um, I don't know if it's a new headpiece for the, um, I believe it's a chief of the pirates. I'm sorry that I'm out of the loop, but I don't really know his name, but I will try to figure out his name, um, by the end of this video, but it sort of looks like he has some kind of headband. Maybe it's a new molded piece for the head. Overall, I will buy this set, but I am going to wait until it gets on discount. Like, I'm not going to go to the store and buy the set on release date. It's not anything crazy. So I am going to wait for a bit to get it on discount. Okay, so this is um, releasing on August 1st. Uh, you can pre-order it right now. It's $20, and it's a micro fighter. It looks like $20 is just going to be the same for now. $20, this looks like it's going to be the same for all microfighters. But this is the N1, Mandalorian's N1 Starfighter. It's really cool. I'm not going to show any images, but it's cool. So this is 88 pieces, fairly standard. Yeah, they released the Razor Crest, and there's an exclusive Mandalorian figure in there. And then they just made it unexclusive. It's probably one of their biggest selling points for that set was people would come to the store they'd say oh that's a cool mandalorian figure it's better than all the other ones and then they just put it in this one 
And it's not the exact same, but they're, you're using the helmet. And I think that was one of the best things about that minifigure was the helmet that a lot of people liked. So I don't really know why they put it in this set. It looks like... Oh, it doesn't show. Okay, I don't know if he has face printing underneath here. From this tiny sliver that I can see, it does look like he has, like, his normal, like, Din Djarin face. And that comes with Grogu. I don't think there's anything different there. But let's get into the actual Micro Fighter. So the Micro Fighter looks pretty standard. Like, it doesn't actually look that much different than the original N1 Naboo Star Fighter in the yellow color scheme um, from the Phantom Menace. But it has two stud shooters at the front. The two wings look pretty good. Other than that, nothing crazy. It just sort of looks like a micro fighter. And it looks like there's a place to put Grogu. Yep, there is. But I'm not a micro fighter expert. Like, I don't really collect them. I mean, I have a lot of them, but that's because I get them for gifts. Which is okay. Like, micro fighters are good gifts for if you want to put Lego in people's stockings or anything. But Although I will get this set... It's probably something I'll wait until, I don't know, either I get it as a gift or I find it on discount or wait till Black Friday next year. Boxing Day sale, I don't know. Because I'm assuming this one will go on sale at some point. It's not going to be a crazy seller, it's a micro fighter. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video coming very soon. And actually, remember to like and subscribe. Yes, like and subscribe. Anyway, thank you guys for watching.